Good morning, this is Mr. Priscilla, and today we're going to be discussing something that's uh, really pertinent at this time of year. Uh, as I'm recording this, it's the Tuesday after Cyber Monday and Black Friday, and we've been seeing all these sales dealing with percent off. So today we're going to be discussing percent taxes and inflation. The first thing we're going to do is practice writing percents as decimals. All of you have seen this somewhere along your life, but uh, so it's going to be sort of a review of percent. A percent means per hundredth. So one percent is the same thing as one over a hundred. To divide by a hundred, you move the decimal point two places to the left. So to write one percent as a decimal, you write the one, and we assume there's a decimal point at the end of the number. Now move the decimal point two places to the left. One, two, point zero one. Now some of you may have written zeros in front, so if to type in your answer, you can write point zero one or Sometimes you see it written 0 0.01. So to <clears throat> write a percent as a decimal, you move the decimal point two places to the left. To go the other way, you move the decimal point two places to the right. 0.24 can be written as, if you move the decimal point two places to the right, that would be 24%. Here's another one where we're going to write it as a percent. We have the decimal point 0 0.375. To go from decimal to percent, you move the decimal point two places to the right. So 0 0.375 is the same thing as 37.5 percent. So point three seven five, move the decimal point two places to the right, thirty seven point five. Point zero one four, to write that as a percent, you move the decimal point two places. So it's going to be, you type in there, one point four. So 0 0.014 is the same thing as 1.4%. Now, how do we convert a fraction to a percent? Well, to convert a fraction to a percent, y'all already know how to convert a fraction to a decimal. You just divide. So we're going to convert 3 fifths you divide, and I'm just going to use a calculator, 3 divided by 5, that'll convert it to a uh, percent. Now, let me see. Can you all see that? It's sort of hard. 3 divided by 5. Ooh. Is 0.6. Now, move the decimal point two places to the right. One way, when you're doing this on a calculator, what a lot of people like to do is have the calculator move it to the right for them. So they just multiply by 100. So three, fit, three divided by five times 100 is 60. Oops, where did I have that so you could see it? 60. 3 divided by 5, then times 100. The times 100 moves the decimal point from the point 6, two places to the right. So this would be 60%. So to convert a fraction to a percent, using a calculator, you divide, I'm gonna, here's what I'm going to punch in, 13 divided by 16, and then times 100. The 13 divided by 16 converts it to a decimal, the times 100 converts it to, moves it, 
the decimal point right two places. So let's see, right here. I'm going to go 13 divided by 16 times 100. Ooh, can you what is that? Uh, 81.25. So you, you probably want a calculator to do these. If you have a calculator, then it's pretty easy to convert a, per, a fraction to a percent. 13 divided by 16 times 100. Let's see what else is on here. It's on the next problem. Now, ooh, let me see. Uh, let's see. I'm going to put this here to sort of block the show through. Let's see, can y'all read that? Okay. Same thing, convert 15 over 4 to a percent. So you're going to go 15 divided by 4. That converts it to a decimal. And then move the decimal point to the right two places by multiplying by 100. So here's my calculator. 15 divided by 4 times 100, 375. So 15 over 4 is 375 percent. Okay. Now, the next thing we're going to be doing is actually start taking the percent of numbers. And uh, let me introduce this with just something that you were seeing a whole lot of yesterday. Yesterday being Cyber Monday when I made this, when I'm, as I'm making this uh, video. I don't know when you'll be watching it. Probably not the day after Cyber Monday. But uh, if we have... Uh, an item sells normally for, oh, let's say $50. It is on sale for 20% off. What is its pr sale price? I think most of y'all know how to calculate that. To calculate the 20% off, you're going to go, I'll write it like this. The discount is equal to, to work with percents, you always convert them to decimals. So this one's already a percent. To write it as a decimal, you move the decimal point two places to the left. So you're going to say 0.20 times 50. 0 0.20 times 50, if you punch that into your calculator, it'll be 10. That's the amount of the discount. And therefore, the sale price would be $50 minus $10 so forty dollars. So to calculate twenty percent off of some price, you just multiply point twenty times that price, the original price. Now there's the per basic percent equation. That's very important. Basic percent equation and that's what I was using right here okay percent written as a decimal t 
times amount, or let's say times a base, I mean, equals amount. The base would be the original price. Okay? In word problems, generally the base, it'll talk about 25% off. The base is what comes after the word off. And we're going to use this per basic percent equation sum. We're also going to use uh, a little bit of algebra. Sometime along your life, you've had some algebra. Um, College algebra is not a prerequisite for this course, but uh, elementary algebra, the remedial algebra, is we do things like this. We solve equations like this. 3x equals 12. And that 3x means 3 times x. So to solve this for x, you would need to cancel out that 3 by doing the opposite of multiplying by 3. You divide by 3 get x equals 4 and we're going to do a little bit of algebra like that as we're doing some of these problems. We're going to be writing the basic percent equation and then solving. Like number 8. The number 9 is what percent of 60? Let's write that as an equation. The number 9 is, is an equal sign. What percent, let's use the letter P for percent, of 60. The of 60 is times 60. Look over that. I'll see how I did that. Now, let's solve for P by canceling out this 60. To do that, we would need to divide both sides by 60. And so we have 9 over 60 equals P. Well, this is now a fraction we want it as a percent. How do we convert a fraction to a percent? Well, we do what we were doing up here. Get your calculator and punch in 9 divided by 60 times 100. Well, let's see. 9 divided by 60 ooh, times 100. 15. So the number 9 is 15% of 60. You see how we got a fraction for P? And then you punch it in. So this is 15 right there. Okay, yeah, that looks okay there. Let's do one more problem like that. Let's do number nine. Hmm. 37.5, no, 37.4 is, now notice, it's the base that's unknown here. You're given the percent. 21.25, well, percent, we got to write that as a decimal. Of what number? You can use any letter you want for that number. I think I'm going to use N. So look at that equation. Do you all see how I did that? 37.4, the number 37.4 is... 21.25%, notice how I wrote that as a decimal by moving the decimal point two places to the left. Of means times some number, and I'm using N for number. Now, to solve this for N, 
you would divide both sides by two, a uh, point two one two five. And let's see what we get. Let's, let me find my calculator. Thirty-seven point four. Divided by point two one two five. One hundred seventy six. Remember, thirty seven point four is twenty one point two five per cent of one hundred seventy six. Any questions there? We'll take a, a fast break and then I'll continue with the next problem in a moment. 